Hey, how's it going guys? It's Austin with Really Really Wrenching, and today I want to try a different type of video. So I'm going to do a day in the life video. Uh, so I just got to work. I'm still in the car. It's uh, seven in the morning. Ignore the dusty dash. Um, but yeah, I just want to walk through what I do in the day. It's not going to be super busy. It's the day before Christmas Eve and it's a Saturday. So I'm the only guy here. But uh, I figured I'd just walk through, show you guys what I do on a daily and you know, give you a taste of that used car life. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, we got this Ford Explorer. Uh, this is actually a customer car, so I had to cover the plate. I'm um, doing a water pump and the radiator on it today. Uh, they're both leaking. I did that moonroof over there on it yesterday. Um, I've actually done a couple of these on these Explorers and get them done pretty quick and they usually pay me a good chunk so we got this ram pro master uh you probably saw it a second ago um customer states that the key gets stuck in the ignition and the car won't start uh after driving and then if you just keep jiggling the key and trying to start it eventually the key will come out you put it in and it'll start right up um so i'm gonna check the battery and like that little fuse that's on top of the battery but uh, I'm not sure, I don't really know. I think it could be maybe like an ignition switch or like the locking cylinder sticking. I don't really know much about these, so I'm gonna have to do some research and figure it out. But uh, let's test the battery first. Yeah, I didn't get it on video, but I low tested the battery, I tested good. Um, so I'm testing the TRS right now. I'm just gonna see if I can't pull it up on the scan tool and shift through the gears and make sure it's putting itself in park and it can, well, it, it can register that it's going into park because um, I'm thinking maybe that's the issue. Uh, but we'll take a look and we'll go from there. Hopefully this video uh, like turns out. It's I know it's really choppy. I didn't record the rest of that ProMaster. I was just trying to push it out of the way. Um, I got to inspect another Ford and then get the water pump done on this Ford, which I've never done before. So this might take me a little while. But uh, I ended up uh, plugging the scan tool in, you saw in the last clip, but it would not connect to the transmission controller, which I don't even know why. It's just a really cool Mac scan tool, I guess. Um, so I was gonna crawl under it and check the voltage at the connector for the TRS. Uh, but when I was down there, I was like, oh, you know what? I'll check the grounds too. Check the transmission ground. It was loose. And I was like, oh, okay, this probably is not good. That's not how it's supposed to be. So I tightened it down. Uh, and I just went to go start the truck again, started up fine, um, took it on my test route, drove it. Anytime I shut it off, started up, started fine. Key didn't get stuck in the ignition. I was like, well, okay. I mean, at this point, uh, it came from our Dodge dealer. They safetyed it and then Honda sold it like a week ago. So naturally it comes back to me because I'm a Dodge tech. Um, but at this point, it wasn't doing it anymore. Uh, I talked to the service writer and he was like, okay, well, if it, you drove it and it's not actively doing it, we're going to send it. So I said, okay, sure. Um, so he ended up saying if it, if it ends up coming back with the same issue, they'll send it to Dodge, which they should have to begin with because Dodge safetyed it. But it is what it is, you know. I just work on what they give me. But uh, all the complaining aside... Let's get into our Ford inspection. So we're here in our key room. I know it's dark, I didn't shut the, or turn the light on. But uh, this is our board. This is used cars in Christmas time. So I was not lying when I said it was slow, but uh, here's my board and here's this Ford key. So let's get into it. So this is our Ford Explorer that we are inspecting. I figured I'd just walk you guys through my inspection process real quick. So we're gonna come into the car. It's running right now, so we gotta. We'll check the windows and the power mirrors. We'll check the AC and the heater. It's blowing AC right now. It's blown cold. That's good. Uh, throw the heater on. But I'll check all that. Make sure the radio is not blown out. It's good. I don't want to get freaking copyrighted. Check the glove box opens. This opens. I'll check all the seat belts, all the seats. Make sure there's no tears or anything. And then I will. Come over here when it's running and just take a look at what i can see make sure i don't hear any weird hissing noises any belt noise any valve tick or anything like that sounds pretty good i can smell oil so i know there's something going on here 
and uh, I drove it before I parked it or well, pulled it in here that's what I usually do and uh, I did feel some uh, clunking while braking so maybe some control arms but uh, yeah when I get in the air I'll start the video again okay so we got it racked one thing I did notice that I didn't notice before got some rodent activity here so we're gonna have to check all the wiring and everything under there I'm gonna recommend the new cover too because you know once they've been there they're gonna keep coming back so uh plus i don't really want the customer opening it and opening their hood and seeing this chewed up cover so i'll recommend the engine cover and uh let's look on. okay so we're under the car i'll start at the front go to the back so usually i'll check all up in here check for oil or anything check the drive belt probably needs a new one check for any frame damage or anything like that doesn't look like this thing's been in an accident. Looks pretty clean. So I thought I smelled oil, but I'm not really seeing any. I'm seeing a little bit of seepage there around the timing cover, but it's really nothing crazy. Everything else looks okay. Control arm bushings are torn for sure. So it does need control arms, uh, but really not the biggest deal. It's gonna need tires, all four. Moving towards the back, not seeing any damage or anything. It's looking pretty good. Um, looks like gas tank's all right. Go to the rear axle, it's not leaking from the diff. Neither of the axles look like they're leaking. So it looks pretty good. And we'll, I'll go through and check the brakes and everything after. No frame damage or anything on the body. Yeah, it looks good. All right. Oh. Shock is leaking. Yeah, it's gonna need that shock. So uh, interior on this thing was really clean, had all the spare tire tools and everything. So um, oil filter or oil change, uh, engine cabin filter, and then wipers are standard on every car. This one's also gonna be getting four tires, uh, lower control arm bushings, front brakes, and uh, this engine cover. Oh, and the rear shocks as well. But uh, not too bad. Should be a pretty healthy car. Um, some decent hours on it, and I really don't mind working on these Fords. So, yeah, let's get into our water pump slash radiator. Don't know which one I'm going to do first, but let's get into that. Okay, so it's been like four hours since I inspected the Explorer. Um, they needed help in the main shop, so I shot over there. Did some oil changes, a uh, set of brakes on a CRV, just easy stuff. Just trying to help them get caught up. It's Christmas time, they're shorthanded. I don't like working on main shop stuff, but I like uh, Honda stuff, but it kind of is what it is, you know. Um, so I'm back on this Explorer with the water pump and the radiator. Uh, I've been here for like 10 minutes. I started tearing it apart and then figured I should make an update, little clip. So I got the coolant drained. Well, I guess I could show you. I got the coolant drained. Uh, I'm about to get the shroud off. Got to get the front bumper cover off. And I'm going to get the radiator out and then just start tearing into the front cover um, for the water pump. I don't have cam lock tools, so I ordered some on Amazon. And they said they'd be here tomorrow, but again, it is Christmas time, so I'm not sure. Hopefully they will be, but if not, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to try to push through and get as far as I can on this thing. Like I said... Uh, it's like 2.30 right now. I got to be home probably like 6. So I got to leave here at like 5. Uh, so hopefully I can at least get the cover off today. But we'll see. Sorry about the compressor, but it's uh, about 4 o'clock. I got the radiator out and everything. Honestly, really easy. Front bumper pulls off easy. Uh, the bolts are obviously right there. Um, and you just separate it from the condenser. Very, very easy job. Uh, I got the valve cover off and then one of the valve covers in the intake. I'm going to get that valve cover off before I leave. But I wanted to share really quick. I thought about it. Um, these valve covers, I've done a couple on these three fives. They're kind of a pain. Sorry the camera's so shaky. I don't know what I'm bugging or something. Uh, these things are kind of a pain to get off because the tube seals get stuck. And obviously there are plastic valve covers. So you can't really uh, like go yanking on them or you're going to mess them up. So... I like to cut the tube seals right here uh, with a razor blade. As you can see, they're right here. Uh, and it just makes it super easy. You just gotta pry it at the 
the two FIPG points or the silicone points with like a plastic trim tool and it pulls right off. It's makes it a whole lot quicker. I've done them where I've left the seals uh, attached to the, or like having cut the seals and it is such a nightmare to get out. It's a real pain. So uh, try this on your next 3.5, it'll, it'll make your life easier. All right, so I basically got no more done, um, but I just packed up my stuff. I got somewhere I gotta be, so I'm gonna be taking off. But uh, hopefully this video turns out decent. Uh, if so, I'll make another one when we, when we pick back up. Like I said, we're super slow. I got this one job, but I wanted to show more of the inspection process and everything. So uh, maybe if this one turns out next month or yeah, like mid January's when we should pick back up, I'll make another one. But uh, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, evening, and I hope you guys have a great holidays as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.